Hey guys, Sarah from Coursecraft here. I launched Coursecraft in 2012, and since then, in the five plus years that it's been running, we've had how many courses? Let me check. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check. Okay. We've had almost 15,000 courses created on our platform, and not all of them have been a huge success. And so today I'm gonna to talk about five common mistakes that I see new course creators make again and again, and I hope that I can help you avoid these pitfalls and launch a really successful online course. The number one mistake I see new course creators make is just thinking too big. A lot of new course creators are so excited to launch their first course that their big plans just get in the way of them actually finishing it. I've seen people try to put like literally everything they know into one course, and it definitely comes from a good place. I think these course creators just want to make something that's really high quality and really valuable for their students, but what ends up happening is that they just dilute their content. What you should do is focus on one small subject and really dive deep into that. A big, huge course is a problem for a couple reasons. One is that it's a really hard project to finish because it's just so massive. And two, it's a hard product to market. The second mistake I see is forgetting about the pre-sell. Now this is a secret that a lot of new course creators don't know about. The professionals start marketing their course before they're done creating the content. And in most cases, before they're done even starting to create the content. It's a really cool way to work and we have a blog post on this subject that I will link in the description below so you can check it out. Newbie course creators tend to start working on their content first and then talk about their course. But if you switch that process around, you'll be able to gauge interest in your course really quickly and have more time to market your course. The third mistake I see is having no marketing plan for your course at all. Before you start marketing your course, you need to sit down and come up with a plan. Sharing your landing page on social media is a great way to get the word out there, but it shouldn't be your only avenue for promotion. It's said that you need to get your product in front of your audience at least seven times before they're convinced to buy it. There are tons of ways to drive traffic to your landing page, including using your email list, uh, directing people through a free opt-in, creating an affiliate program, and buying paid advertisements. And that's just to name a few. So before you start marketing, you need to sit down and come up with a bunch of different ways to get in front of your audience so that they see your product enough and get convinced to buy it. The third problem I see most often is overcomplicating things. Your first ever e-course is not the time to experiment with a whole bunch of new tools. Just focus on creating really high quality content and leave out all the extras like live streams and quizzes and complicated content scheduling. Those things are all great additions to your course, but try to get the basics down first and add those little extras in on your second and third time around. The last mistake I wanna talk about is thinking all the work ends when you've launched your course. Running an e-course is an ongoing process. And once you have students enrolled, you should be spending your time interacting with them and making sure they're happy. This is the time to gauge their satisfaction and make a few notes on how you can improve things the next time around. And if you're doing that, you're gonna be in a great position to piggyback on the success of your first course and jump right into creating your next one. And that's it. Knowing about these common mistakes can help you avoid them and launch your first course with success. So I hope you liked this video and give it a thumbs up if you did and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.